A Jacksonville father's recovering at the hospital after he nearly lost his arm in a boating accident over the weekend. James Rollerson tells News for Jax he was thrown from his boat and the propeller mauled his arm on Sisters Creek Saturday. That's the part that I keep playing in my head. Like, what if my arm goes enough and I went head first, you know? It could I don't even want to think about that. News for Jax reporter Renee Beninati talked with Rollerson. Joining us now live from UF Health in downtown Jacksonville. Renee. Kent Rollerson has been in the hospital here for several days recovering. He still has to undergo several surgeries, including a skin graft procedure. But he tells me he wanted to share his story to try to prevent this from happening to any more boaters. James Rollerson has spent every weekend on Sisters Creek for years. He was heading in from fishing Saturday when he says his 16 foot boat hit a big wake, lost control, and he was thrown into the water. It broke the arm off my motor because I had a death grip on it and I wasn't turning loose and it broke as I was going in. He says the kill switch he was wearing did not engage and his boat kept on running in circles. His arm was caught in the propeller. Rollerson says a father and son thankfully pulled him from the water and brought him to safety. We talked to the owner of Freedom Boat Club, Lisa Almeida, who says she always recommends having a second person on board. That first mate is the lookout, helping the captain. Hey, do you see that boat coming up? You know, you got someone coming over here. Do you see that over there? Rollerson says the big wake was from a larger boat that cut him off. Almeida says boaters have to always be responsible for their wake. So making sure that if you're in a slow zone, you're going slow or that you're not going too close to somebody else. This father of two is hoping to make a speedy recovery. His arm now broken with many stitches and screws. He wants his experience to be a reminder to always be vigilant on the water. Now, community members have rallied behind Rollerson and his family. A GoFundMe was created, and tonight more than $5,000 has been raised. Now, Rollerson tells me he is a plumber and, of course, will be out of work for some time as his arm recovers, and he broke down into tears, saying he was so thankful for the community's support, especially during the holidays. Reporting live from UF Health, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, The Local Station.